Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan right again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be walking you through the second part of the face tracking app that I created on the previous video. And a lot of people ask me, Dilbert, how could I add a game object on each one of my eyes to, you know, to be able to track it in augmented reality? I'm also going to allow you to add a game object to the center of your head. And the reason why I want to do this is because a lot of times you want to, you may want to create an application for either you know you want to make something fun and you might want to add a different mask or you might want to add something on the eyes you might want to spawn some particles so there's a lot of things that you can use if we actually add a game object to each one of our eyes and also the center of our head so let's go into unity and start working on it all right guys so let's go into unity and open up so I'm going to open Unity ARKit Face Gestures, which is the project that we submitted to GitHub. And wait until everything gets open. And just FYI, just like I said in the previous video, this is going to be pushed to GitHub. So right after I'm done with the video, you'll be able to clone and, and basically get my changes. So, so if you remember when I, when I play this, we were capturing expressions and the expression manager is the one that is responsible for you know tracking what expressions what what kind of blend shapes make up an expression so in this case I have a snarl which is a expression configuration and it's a scriptable object and the snarl has different components so I call these ones blend shapes and they have different ranges so it has a minimum a maximum and also a detection count so so what I want to do here is I also <clears throat> so what I want to do here is also add a new game object that we're gonna be tracking for our eyes and not only our eyes I also want to put one in the center of our head so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do for that is I'm going to I'm going to create a new a new game object here and let's actually go and let's just right click on the hierarchy and then 3D object, and we'll call it, we'll just create a sphere. And the size of the sphere, I'm gonna make it 0 0.04. These are sizes that I already looked up that are gonna work well for what we need to do, so for the size of our eyes. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this one eye prefab. So I will just call it eye, it's fine. And then we're gonna create a new folder under assets. And I'm just gonna call it prefabs. Then double click on that folder and then we're just going to drag and drop our, our eye. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material. Because that material just looks a little boring. There's really nothing to it. We'll just call it eye. And then also let's create a new folder. And then we'll call it materials. Just to keep everything organized. And I'm just going to drag and drop that material into the materials folder. And we can give it see you can give it just I don't know maybe maybe a yellowish color is fine and these are just placeholders your what you'll do is basically replace this with you know the actual the actual eye prefab that you want to use you may want to use you know a different set of eyes you may want to use a laser beam you may want to use something different so and then I'm just going to enable emission and let's see so we can make it a little brighter uh, I think something like that will work. And then I'm just going to drag it and drop it into the eye prefab. And let's go into our eye. Actually, let's do it this way. There we go. So you kind of see that's going to be how our eye looks like. We can, we can tweak it here until we are happy with that. I think something like that works fine. Perfect. So we have our eye prefab, and I already created it in here. So if I go here and open prefab, Looks like I haven't modified the, the actual prefab, so let's click on overrides and then apply all. And now if we go and save it, now we can see that our prefab got updated. So I'm gonna delete it because we don't need it in the hierarchy. That's perfect. So the other thing that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need a, basically the center, the center of my head. So I'm just gonna call this one head. And I'm gonna drag it in. Actually, instead of doing this, let's delete it. Let's create a new it's got a new component so I'm gonna do 3d object sphere and on the eyes we did 0.04 so we can do the same thing and I'm gonna 
just increment it just a tiny bit. Let's just do 0 0.06 all across. Perfect. And we're going to create a new, let's create a new material. I'm going to go right click here. Material is going to be, I'm just going to call it head. And our head, we can just, we can just say, okay, it's going to be black. And we can just do a little bit of a, let's just do a little bit of transparent, transparency. And something like that. Then we can just go into our sphere, which is going to be our head. Drag and drop that material. There we go. Let's just call it, let's just rename the game object to head. And now if we, let me drag and drop the, the eyes just to get a reference of, yeah, we definitely want to make that much bigger. So let me do, let's see, something between 0.15 should be fine. Okay, perfect. And the other thing that I'm going to do, we don't need this collider. I'm going to remove it from the iPrefab too. So we just need a mesh render, the mesh filter, and the material. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop the head into the prefabs. Let's go into our eye and then open prefab and let's remove the sphere collider. We don't need that. So perfect. And we can go back. And excellent. And okay, perfect. Now I'm going to delete the eye. We have our head and everything is set up correctly. Perfect. Now we can delete that. Perfect. So, so we're ready to basically associate this with the areas that we want to put those in augmented reality. So, so what I'm going to do for that is I need to create a couple of references. So I'm going to open my expression manager. Let's just resize this so you can just kind of see it. And, and what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to add two new variables. And this one is going to be private. And then we can just say game object. And this one is going to be the iPrefab, so it's going to call it iPrefab. And then we'll just create another one too. And this one, it's going to be my head prefab. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll serialize both of these. Serialize field, serialize field, perfect. And we'll do the same thing with this one. So, so keep in mind that these are just the prefabs. These are not the instances that I'm going to be creating. So. What I'm going to do right below it, I'm going to say get head game object. These are going to be the references. Once I create an instance of this type, I'm going to assign it to that type. And this is the one that we're going to use to basically change the orientation and the position. So, and then in this one, I'm going to need an I, where we just say I left and I right, because we'll need two of those. Okay, so I have that set. So now let's go back into Unity. And let's make sure that the script is compiling. It looks like it did compile. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my prefabs. And for the eye, all associated with the eye. And the head, all associated with the head. Perfect. So now what I'll do is on start, I'm going to say for my head, game object, I'm just going to say instantiate. And I believe that is capital, yep, instantiate. And then in this one, we'll just say head prefab. Perfect, and we can just say as game object, just to be explicit. Perfect, and then we'll do the same thing with the left eye. And instead of doing this, we'll do eye, and then eye prefab. And we'll do the same thing with the right. And all of that looks fine. Perfect. So we have now, we should have game objects now in memory that, that we can use. So a couple of things that we're going to need are, we got to go into the face edit method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the head game object. And we're going to change the position of it. And to do that, we're going to use Unity AR matrix four by four, I think it's Unity AR matrix operations, and then get position, then anchor data, that transform. And I'll explain to you what this is doing. 
and we'll do the same thing with the rotation and we'll need to change the rotation here so so what i'm going to do for the for the hegem object i want to rotate it based on the you know what what the position of my you know the anchor transforming so this is what ar kit is determining to be you know your head and as that as your head is rotating and moving around this information is going to be stored in, a, in the transform which is a matrix four by four the what this is doing is actually converting that matrix to uh, a scale and also a position that a vector three position that unity understands and also the same thing with the rotation so so this is how you can move you can set the position of the game object based on the anchor position that ARKit is sending and the same thing with the rotation so this is going to be for the head we can just say head position and rotation and we'll need to update this as well in the base updated because we want to get that updated not only when we add an anchor but also when we update an anchor so and that's that that's fine and then face remove we don't need to do we don't need to do anything with that so we need to do something similar with the with the eyes so we'll just say eyes position and rotation we can in fact move this into a method so we'll do that right after i'm done with this so for the left eye we'll do the same thing we'll do i left transform position and instead of doing just transform we also actually have left eye pose and if you look at this this should also have the position and that's also that's actually a, a vector three so we don't need to do the conversion there so we can go here and I believe we can just do the conversion like that let me just check we also have a rotation so I'm gonna check just one more time just to make sure I think these are properties that already were converted yeah it looks like it looks like they were so we can just do we can just do that because those are vector three already and I can do the same thing with the with the rotation so I'll just do instead of position we'll just do rotation and that's for the left eye so we'll do the same thing for the right eye and we'll just change this to be right eye is I I think the variable names are not very intuitive the ways that I name them, but you're welcome to change them. We can just do right eye pose and perfect. And okay, and then we'll do the same thing. So instead of doing this over and over and over because we're gonna need that for so just let's just move that into a meta. So we'll just do extract meta and we can just call this can just rename it rename symbol and we can just say update we can just say update game objects okay perfect update game objects and let's just name it something else that's bugging me okay at least i know updating the position and rotation okay perfect um, all right perfect so now what i need to do is we're, we're calling that from the face edit but we also need to cut it from the face updated so i'm just going to go here paste that method name and we can move this private method and we can let's just move it all the way to right after the face remove so and we can remove oops we can remove let me go back back up we don't need all that spacing we don't need that okay so so what's going to happen when the when the anchor gets at it which we're going to be calling the face at it we're going to get the anchor information from our kit and then we're going to change the position of the head game object the, the rotation of the head game object also the left eye position and rotation and right eye position and rotation looks like we are accessing the right values and perfect so that's that's basically everything for setting up for prefabs and the game object so let me show you how this looks like when you run it on your phone
All right, so let's open the face gesture app and I'll show you how this looks. So you can kind of see that if I, that it's basically tracking my eyes. I can move around, just lift my hat. So you can see, you can see that my eyes are, and then the center will be the mask. So, so those are placeholders, like I was saying in the video that you can use to to replace it with actual objects you can use you know any kind of 3d models that you like you can change the eyes you can use you know even particle effects like i was talking to you about so that's basically everything that i wanted to show you in this video i'll be checking in the code and submitting the code to github so that you can clone it download it thank you guys